Hey y'all, what is poppin'? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I just got back from Vegas. My weekend started. It's Friday. I just took a shower. I just did my skincare. And y'all, my hair has been doing so good. I'm about to apply this iRestore Anti-Hair Loss Serum. And I like iRestore. I'm on this hair journey, right? I have problems in the middle of my head when my hair is growing because I always was getting pony cells, right? So that would definitely take a strand on my hair, especially in the middle, and it would defer my growth. I'm on this hair journey, so I wanted to include low-level laser therapy into my hair care routine because light energy acts like water and nutrients that are absorbed in the hair follicles to keep your hair in the growing phase. So I've been using the Eye Restore and this is the Pro Device and this has 282 LED lights and lasers inside of this device. The Eye Restore containing LED lights and lasers, it is FDA cleared. And I love it. It's so easy to use, super lightweight, and I love that it's portable. You can walk around the house in it, watch TV. I usually normally put this on in the mornings before I take a shower, before I even get to wash my hair, or I'll do it when I'm editing. Be able to use the Eye Restore in conjunction with any other hair treatments you may be getting to maintain your natural healthy hair. It's not heavy at all. All you do is place it on your head like so and then this is the portable battery that it comes with and all you do is attach the remote to the battery do this for only 25 minutes and it this does have a timer on it so all you do is power it on and it sets a timer for 25 minutes and then you just press go and then it does a countdown and then i just like to you know latch it onto any piece of clothing that i'm wearing and i'm chilling and i'm stimulating hair growth in my hair follicles so it's going to reduce hair loss but promote hair growth and you just chill in for 25 minutes it's so easy to use and i've been using this for the last two months now and i've noticed such a huge difference in the back of my head i just been really taking the time out to do what i need to to get my hair to where i desire it to be because i really just want it to be thick and healthy so you'll be able to get your own i restore as well all you need to do is click the link down below and you'll be able to use my code to save 400 dollars off of a pro device and i love that when you purchase a pro device they have a 12 month money back guarantee if the device doesn't work out for you thank you so much i restore for sponsoring this video and yeah so don't forget to click the link down below and since i already did this treatment i'm gonna take this off my head <laughs> And when I do the hair serum, I just like to do this every other day, but twice a day. It's freaking raining outside. I would face y'all this way, but I don't want y'all to see my living room yet until it's all done. But it's so bad out, y'all. Like, it's nasty. It's gross. So, yeah, and I was just about to meet Aaliyah for lunch, but, I mean, like, just like a daytime thing, but no. It's raining bad like it's disgusting um but yeah i'm just gonna do a little work and then i'm gonna go ahead and figure out what ew this doesn't make me want to do nothing oh god i gotta get out of here i gotta go i gotta keep on trucking and moving little outfit i got on it's cute it's like chill but it's still cute these pants are from meshki and then i just have on a basic top these are my favorite tank tops if y'all see me wearing these like over and over i'm so sorry but they're just essential for the wardrobe and they just dress up they just make you feel way put together than just a plain tank candy something i don't know <sighs> anyways i'll check with y'all later Good morning, y'all. So it's the next day. I didn't do nothing, y'all. It was flooding here in Atlanta. But I'm going to a cycle bar class. And y'all, it's going to be so lit. It's um, Drake and Beyonce and my homegirl, Victoria, that goes there. Um, she just texted me. She was like, oh, my God, are you going? I was like, yes, girl, it's lit. And the class is full. Like, it's no more spots. So it's definitely going to give good energy. So I wanted to wear this bright colored set what's well, not even a set this top is from it's a lululemon dupe from target and then these are lululemon pants 
it's giving orange you glad but anyways i gotta run because it's one of the girls that works there her name is sheila love her love her life it's her birthday so i wanted to show up with flowers for her and know that she's loved by me because she shows so much love to me i love her so i wanted to give her flowers and yeah so we're leaving early and i'll probably check in with y'all once i get there and yeah so let's go Diva is a y'all that class energy energy I came out number one what it was crazy I was like no because I like to check my stats after to see how many miles and like what I could improve on and stuff like that y'all I came out number one I was like we number one yeah go Tara <laughs> But no, I just want to thank God for giving me the strength because cycle bar is not easy, y'all. It's not easy. And I was shocked because I literally was gassing out. I was on gear eight because I was gassed out, sweating, it was hot. But like I said, thank you, God, for giving me the strength to wake up today and get number one in the spot. So, but yeah, it was so nice. I was meeting so many of y'all. If y'all want to go to like a cycle bar class, like to a lit one, all you do is download the app and you know sign up whatever and then you'll see all the themed playlists um i like to get at least like three to two cycle bar classes in for the week and then like i split my time with yoga that's what i'm doing now as far as my workouts um but yeah if you want to come come like we don't buy it we get lit yeah we fuck shit up um <laughs> but yeah anyways i'm about to get ready for a hair appointment and i'll see y'all there i'm about to get in the shower because i'm so sweaty disgusting so today i woke up with the worst attitude and i knew what it was instantly it's because my f hair wasn't done Ooh. i pulled a hay boo on my hairstylist to see if she had any openings because baby when it comes to my mental health i'm gonna pay whatever and do whatever in starbucks we go obviously before any hair appointment starbucks is definitely on the agenda i'm scarred from driving to hair appointments because i always get booted so i'm taking a uber but I instantly regretted it because he made me drop my egg bites, girl. So I put up on my girl Deja and I handed her my hair. Y'all, I have a hair drawer, so I scuffed up any type of hair that I had. Old hair and two bundles of new hair, some blonde. And baby, we was going to make this work because, baby, I need my hair done. The cap is capping, baby. So boom, hop right into the Insta. And I wanted some blonde highlights, vibes going on. I just love color in the summertime. So some of this hair was old and that's okay. And she made it work. There's just work is so consistent every time i come to her i know i'm about to get a bomb install so make sure y'all go check her out book her up because she is so good and i just love coming to her because i know i'm not gonna go home crying trying to fix my hair and y'all baby is eating okay my attitude instantly disappeared and this is your sign to just go get your hair done girl and to think i got a text saying can i see your hair did you see if you was gonna pay for this to I showed you my hair. Did I show y'all my hair? I don't know. But yeah, I got my hair done. Got blonde highlights. And y'all, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning right now. But I'm leaving in the morning. Right now, I literally, I've learned my lesson in the past that I need to just pack before I leave. I cannot do the Russian thing in the morning or else I'm going to be late. And everything requires preparation before you even do anything. That's really just been what's going on in my mind. Um, me and my mom have been talking about that for the last, you know, few weeks. Like, everything requires preparation. So, I need to just keep preparing myself and just be an adult. Um, 
my face is swollen i need to go to sleep but i want to show y'all these packages i got in the mail um before because i'm about to pack some of this jewelry up bottega has these clear lenses they're similar to my aviator bottega ones the gold ones i wear all the time i'll link them there's a dupe on amazon i haven't ordered it yet because it was sold out but they had these other ones the clear lens that i was actually gonna buy the real pair and i thought these were gonna be too small for my face but they actually fit really nice with the gold hardware i just feel like it's so cute i need to wrap my hair um but yeah super cute i like these amazon dupe for the bottega clear lenses i'll put the original pair on the screen but yeah i like these i think they're cute so these will be linked in my amazon store I think it's just like a cute little touch with like some jewelry, daytime, nighttime, hair blockers, but you can still see. Like, I like sunglasses that just add a little flavor to the look, but you can still see my face type of thing. So, cute. I have these Bottega dupe earrings that the girl's been eating up. I finally got my hands on up here and when Nalia posted these on her tiktok i was like oh yes i need these so these are the ones super lightweight these are fire like you can't tell me this isn't worth the money period but we'll see how long they last and also fury just dropped their bottega dupes as well these took a long time y'all a long time so i recommend y'all go to fury and order they're literally the same thing um but except his you can get more wear out of it because these are amazon girl these are going to be you know bottom of the barrel cheap um but his quality is way better i haven't tried it yet but he did say that um it doesn't tarnish or turn or anything like that um and it also it's black owned with these but these came up first but like i said if you don't want to wait like these took two three weeks to come but fury has literally the same ones the same ones um and like i said it's black owned business and then just silver pair really into my asics lately these shoes are so comfortable they're so they're addicting they're the best shoe ever and they just came out with a new color and i always watch their website for new colors and i always keep searching because they're always sold out everywhere but i directly ordered these from asics and these are so cute they're white oh my god with the the gold and the nude oh my god these are right up my alley and i have the silver i have the ones with the silver in it in the front but this is my second pair and i wanted like a white like casual cute everyday pair so these came in a perfect time i'll probably wear these to the airport in the morning probably and then y'all the last thing before i go to sleep because i'm tired so y'all i haven't opened these yet i was gonna do an unboxing on tiktok but these are the steve madden um these are supposed to be like a hermes dupe and this is not a replica because a replica is something that mimics or you know is trying to um a replica is trying to mimic a product with the packaging, the receipts, the duster bag, and some more ish. So this is a dupe. I don't care. I'm going to see what it's giving. I can never find these Hermes sandals anyways. So I'm like, let's see what these Steve Madden ones are giving. Steve Madden, you know they're wrong for, you know, coming out with a dupe of the Hermes slides. But hey. So, I'm pretty sure they're obviously different quality. I haven't um, seen any of... I haven't I haven't tried the original Hermes pairs on. But a lot of people said these are comfortable. So, these are the dupes for the Hermes slides. Steve Madden. Let me see what they look like on my foot. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, they're like rubber. 
Okay, off the bat, the quality is probably not the same because it's already scrunching up looking tacky. <laughs> But, I mean, this is a cute dad shoe. I like a good mom-dad parent shoe. I'm at that point in my life. But, this is how they look. This is super flimsy. I'm pretty sure the Hermes ones isn't like, aren't like that. But, for the most part, it's a good throw-on shoe for now. And they're super comfortable. And what I'm doing in Miami, I got invited to an event from the Fortune and Forks girls. Love them. Um, so I'm just going to go network. And I've just been really enjoying meeting new people lately. Like, I'm at the point in my life where I don't want to stop what has been done to me in the past from stopping me from meeting new people that are meant to be in my life you know what i'm saying because i feel like god will place people in your life for a reason and you just really never know who you're gonna meet and who's gonna be your people and i'm just you know i'm very open to meeting new people and exploring new relationships with other people so i just want to go out there and network i got invited so i'm going um there really isn't much happening here in Atlanta. Um, and yeah. And I have a date out there tomorrow on Monday. So. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going to be on Sunday. And then the next day, I'm venturing off to other things. But yeah, those are going to stay here. I'm just going to pack my Louis slides. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to sleep. I'll check in with y'all in the morning. I'm tired. We are in Miami, baby. We're in Miami. Hey. Um, the weather's nice, it's hot. It got hot when I touched down. Okay, But y'all, we in Miami. There's people on the balcony. Let me stop, but yeah, y'all, it's hot. It's hot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to start getting ready because I don't want to be late to this event. What is going on is that it's a cocktail, like social thing, and then we, we're going on sprinters and heading to the sections at Rolling Loud. And then followed by that, it's going to be a motherfucking party. So, yeah. And y'all, Summer Walker was on my flight. This is my second time seeing her just like regular in the airport. But obviously, I like to leave like celebrities alone because I know that, like, you know, especially Summer Walker, I know she has like anxiety and stuff like that. But she's so gorgeous in person. Her baby was on the plane. <sighs> but, anyways, so. There's that, and Aaliyah might come out here tomorrow, which is cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, let me get myself together. Yeah, let me get myself together. And yeah, but y'all already seen the East so many times on my page, I feel like, but it's so cute in here. I got the corner. King, good bathroom, good lighting. I did bring my light, so when you walk in here, you got the bathroom and then the bed, which nothing is gonna be happening in here, unfortunately. And then a mirror, and then a little breakfast nook right here in the corner. But yeah, let me just take a shower, rinse the day off, and I'm super excited. I'm just really in the social like era i literally met this girl on a plane she was so cute um i got upgraded to first class i didn't have a bad experience this time with traveling like i like i told y'all everything requires preparation okay preparation equals success so 
And just because you don't may not have something right now, God is preparing you. He's in, you're in your preparation area. Like I normally don't preach, but I, me and my mom talk about this like off camera and you know, we have our private conversations and you know, preparation is always the key to success. So God is preparing you for something greater. You just don't know what's coming. It's coming, but you just never know and you're getting prepared for it. So I'm in my preparation season. You know what I'm saying? I've always told myself that. I've always told myself God is preparing me for so much more than what I can probably even imagine. Just stay hopeful, stay thoughtful, and you can do it. So with everything, preparation is key when it comes to anything. But anyways, I'm about to get in the shower. <sighs> but I'm going to talk to y'all once I get thrust. Well, sorry, I'm ready. Okay, y'all, so I just got dressed. So my top is JPG. And then my pants are local European. I just wanted to be like extra chill, relaxed. Um, Bottega dupe earrings. Y'all can get these from Fury. And my Dior bag and my Hermes slides. So I'm just gonna carry y'all in my phone because I know it's gonna be a lot going on. And my phone, my camera doesn't even fit. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna have a good night. We're gonna be social. We're gonna network. We're gonna meet new people. And I'm super excited just to see who's gonna be here. And yeah, and just to get this experience. So let's go. I call my Uber. So it should be outside, but yeah, we're out. Hey, peace up, A hey, town. we get on the sprinters so it's for it was 4 30 to 7 i read that invitation all wrong because you know you had a grace period in between time so i think all the people are going to show up by seven o'clock and then leave to roll them out y'all it's humid i'm not gonna sit outside y'all are dumb i think i'm gonna sit at the bar for a little bit and just sip um but yeah i'm here early this is just not my normal, but you know, I'm just gonna let God take the lead because he's been giving me the energy, y'all. I don't be having no energy, y'all. Like I said, I was up until like five o'clock. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm gonna check with y'all later, but I'm good. <laughs> yup, yup. <laughs> So y'all, this is the Lobos Reposado. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Cheers. 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 C
First and foremost, there's no sugars, no add, no, no, no additives, right? Yeah. So you can drink a bottle of hot dog. You drink a whole bottle, you don't feel it. Actually. But okay. you know, moderately well, drink it. It keeps you hanging the hangover, right? No sugars, no yeah. additives. Okay. Um, but it's just made in, in, in the traditional process, right? It's crushed the right way. All through what worked out. Um, okay, no problem. Different no traits problem. articulate from everything else. It's finished in a different barrel. So if you were to grab a bottle of Garepo, right? Well, what are the differences in the barrel? So check this out. So, so it's finished in the tequila, and it's, it's aged for six months, Okay. right? I mean, for three years in, 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 the, in the barrel, right? You know, a French American oak. Then after it's pulled out of there, um, it's finished in, 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 in sherry casks. Spain, right? So that's what gives it a sweetness. So when you taste it, most tequilas, when you taste the reposado, it's very smoky, right? So what this does is um, it pulls that smokiness out of it, gives it a little sweeter back end flavor and taste. So it's a, it's a different animal. I tell you, out of, out of the whole line, this is my favorite, because you can do so much with it. Like you can have a grape, you can have a grape. You can have, have, have an orange, orange. a little tahini, uh -huh. and you get the full flavor. And so the tahini gives it that smoke that's missing from the sweetness that you can have. So it's a different animal. There we go. You said this is a different animal? Yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back calling me spurs, let me jump right out the curb. Yeah. This right like a bird. Spin on the first Now we're in the sprinter. With the Late arrival. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I was fashioned. Yeah, that's good. And she dressed like I swim so. I swim so. What? It's hot. I don't blame you. I swear to God. I swear to the
chasing new worldly possessions. Flesh making, spirit breaking, which one would you listen? The better part, the human heart, you love them or dissect them. Happiness or blackness, how do you serve Hey y'all, good morning. It's the next day, y'all. Last night was so fun. But before I even get into it, I have beef with this flying spider in my damn room, y'all. So I woke up this morning, right? <laughs> I'm like, there's a bug, like, ew. And then it lands on the pillow, it's a spider. Excuse my language, but it's a spider. And it lands on the pillow, so I'm like hopping up and it's flying. So I just seen it. Like I'm literally, I have to literally like squab up with the spy spider that's flying like. <laughs> um, so I just seen it by the window. So let me see if I can get it. Get it, cause I'm gonna lay down. For it to be landing on my body and I can't feel him. He really is fucking with me. I'm literally like on go, y'all. Like, where is the spider? Cause I don't have time. I don't want it to land on me. I don't want to get bit. I was literally it was right here. I was gonna take my pants and swing it, but I didn't want it on my white pants and I need not hear this. Please come out to wherever you are. I don't have time for this. I don't got time. And I need to tell you. Last night was so much fun. I didn't expect to have that much fun. Last night I felt like I got in probably at 3 a.m. I don't even know the time I got in. I was so lit. It was such a good time. I met Chelsea. She's one of the members of Fortune and Forks. Um, I met Rhythm. I've been friends with her on Instagram for the longest time. I really didn't wasn't expecting um, to know anybody there. Um, but I'm so happy she came and I finally got to meet her in person. Such a good time, good energy. And then I met her friend. It was just the best time. And then my girl Kaya was there. Um, yeah, small freaking world. Um, but it was so much fun. But yeah, Rolling Loud was it for me. I like being in the club or the club section area. But it was hot, y'all. I was so mad when my fan died. My fan is on the chargers today because you never know. Um, but yeah, I'm just chilling. I went to Joe the Juice this morning. I didn't eat last night. Um, so I needed to get something in my system, but, um, I'm drinking water. I need to stay hydrated, but I'm just going to work on the pat in, on the patio for, I don't know, like an hour. Um, and then I'm going to lay down. I don't want to lay down by the pool yet just because I'm going elsewhere after. So I need to get ready for that. So, but yeah, this was so fun. But anyways. But this spider though, I feel like I don't want him to come out with me. I have to reach out to Chelsea. <sighs> Anyways, I'll get a little chocolate here. Y'all, we got it together real quick. Look at my Amazon Bottega dupes. Ah, these are so cute, y'all. So I just got this cute set from Zara. I've been really trying to get into skirts. And this is the perfect one to start off with. This is like a like sweatpants skirt. And then I just put on my hair mid slides. Um, but anyways, y'all, I'm about to head to the nail shop because, um, and also we're switching locations, but I'm gonna head to the nail shop because I really wanna just go ahead and pop the gun and get a fake nail, <laughs> fake toe on my toenail that fell off because I just don't wanna be out here like crazy. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we get lunch after that because I'm starving at this point. Um, but yeah, let's go. I'm excited. Hey y'all, so I just got ready for the night. Um, homeboy, my friend or whatever. I don't know where he's at, but we're supposed to be going to this little Jamaican place. Um, but I just have on the Wolford dress I wore in Las Vegas. And earrings, simple makeup, done. Day two in Miami. And I'll vlog off my phone because I'm not going to bring my camera um, to the hookah lounge we're going to. I've been there once before, um, but I didn't eat the food last time. I don't know if I'm going to eat it today. I'll probably have a little bit of his because he likes going there. He said they have some good sliders. I don't know, but... The vibe in here is really cute and I got a good hookah.
Hey y'all, so it's the next day. We haven't chatted, caught up, nothing. But we will when I get back to my hotel. Yeah, girl, I have the hotel, but we're gonna talk about that later. But I'm on my way to a beach club um, to meet Rhythm. She was at the event the other day, so like I said, I'm so happy I met her. She lives out here. So I text her like, hey girl, do you wanna meet? If you don't, that's fine. But she's like, oh my God, yes, let's meet. So I'm meeting her at the Bia Beach Club. Um, and just to get a quick bite, a little drink, I guess I got like a happy hour or something. I just wanted to go just cause, yeah, I wanted to get outside. But yeah, I'll check with y'all once I get there. Cause I'm I had 200 for lunch. That's how I put on a cut. Okay. 24 shows in a month. Today that time it was crunch. Ice, diamonds is crunch. Louis B, but my t-shirt is tough. Yeah. Cold as a slush. Man, it rinse on sip in a test. So y'all just made it to the beach club. It's so nice. I got a view right here and a view right here. That's crazy. You like refreshing, but you don't like mojitos. Yeah, I don't like mojitos. I don't know why. I'm gonna try the day off. Mm -hmm. Wait, day off? What what liquors does that have in the day this off? This is like a Long Island. Long Island. Oh, mm -hmm. no, that's not like that. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. <laughs> that's not like that. I just want to try the mango puree in it, that's all. But y'all okay. went with them. Hey, oh yeah, what did you get? So, I got Among the Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank okay. you. Y'all went with them, she looks so good. Thank she got a little you. date. So, here he is. Cheers. Cheers. Woo -woo. It's a new friendship. Period. I like it, it's refreshing. It's called, it's called um, Among the Stars. I'm going to oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's spicy. It's like, mine it's strong. Mine is a little spicy too. But you can definitely taste the mango. It's good. Yeah, girl, that is that, that has like three different liquors in it. <laughs> yes. I didn't even see that. Tequila, gin. Girl. I think Brugal Oh yeah, this is dangerous. <laughs> hey y'all, so as y'all can see, I'm in a hotel now my arm and i had to leave from where i was at so i was supposed to come out here originally on monday because i was invited out here by a man and i've been knowing him like this is nothing like new to me as far as like knowing him i've been knowing him for like a little bit now so he invited me out here and i got invited to rolling loud and i was like okay well I go to Rolling Loud and then I'll meet up with him on Monday. So then I meet up with him or whatever. So he doesn't know I'm here yet. So, cause like he's not my man. He don't need to know like my business. I'm like, oh yeah, I land at three, like on Monday. I'm like, yeah, I land at three. And then he was like, okay. So, like he didn't say nothing. I'm gonna pick you up or nothing like that. So I'm like, I'm here. And I was calling him and he was like, I'm just Uber to your friend's hotel and I'll pick you up from there. And that was like strike one for me. But I am in the season where I point out the little things that I don't like and I am okay with doing that like i don't need to adjust or like how you're treating me you need to adjust how i'm supposed to be treated you see what i'm saying so that right there was like oh he don't want to come get me from the airport like your man will never not come pick you up from the airport the one that's supposed to be the one will never leave you stranded you get what i'm saying so it's just like ew turn off number one so i'm but i'm keeping cool or whatever because like at the end of the day like he's not the one but still at the same time you're still gonna have to be able to court me you know what i'm saying like it's weird anyways so fast forward to that day y'all seen me getting ready in his bathroom and stuff we were supposed to go out he was gone um and i was getting ready to go out but i was like oh I don't want him waiting on me, like, getting ready because I take a long time to get ready, y'all. And I'm like, let me just be ready when he comes back, y'all. It's like three hours done past, three, four hours. He comes back, goes straight to sleep, y'all. I got so mad. He was like, well, give me a second. Like, I'm, I'm sleepy or something like that. I don't know. He goes straight to sleep after I done got ready, got dressed. And first of all, it takes a lot for me to do a beat face, okay? It takes a lot for me to do a beat face. 
and put on something cute just to look, you know, presentable. What the fuck? What did I come out here for? Like for you to go to sleep? So he went to sleep right away. Didn't we didn't do nothing? He didn't even know food. He didn't even ask that I need anything when we were going to back to his house or anything like that. It's just like small things I take notice of. So then the next day comes. It's all good. I'm not complaining yet. I'm still having a good attitude. We we wake up in the morning. He was like, Oh my god, I was so tired last night. Woo woo, and I'm like. Like, okay whatever I have breakfast and he's like oh I have to go get my uncle from the airport I'm like what like <laughs> so we go get his uncle they having a whole family reunion girl so then I get dropped off back at his house so he's like oh we're just gonna go get some dominoes like some stuff and mind y'all the breakfast was mid me and him both agreed we had little nipples and dominoes I'm talking about dominoes as in playing dominoes like the game because Obviously, his uncle's old school. To run some errands. I'm like, okay, whatever. And I'm just, time is passing. He's gone for hours since 5 o'clock. Mind you, he dropped me back off at like 12 o'clock, 1 something. I don't know. It's hours past. And I'm just like sitting here like I'm watching I Love Island. I'm catching up on my shows. But I'm like, I could have did this at home. I could have did this at home. I could be enjoying myself with somebody. Somebody who invited me out here should be courting me showing me a good time taking me with them or asking me what do i want to do or just stuff like that literally got on a plane took the time out to come see you and you're having a whole thing where you in in the meantime y'all i was so fed up so he comes back or whatever and he's like yo like in the room i'm like what the f and then y'all i see they brought food back <laughs> this what took me off this is what ticked me off because I'm at your house, right? And obviously, okay, we ate a little bit before, right, y'all? But it's like common courtesy. If you're coming back with food, if, <laughs> if you're coming back with food in the house, you're, a man's instinct should be like, wait, let me ask her if she wants anything before I come back or just anything, like just anything in general. No phone call, no check-in, no nothing. They come in, they warming up their food, having a good old jolly time. And I just lose it. I'm like, I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm like, I need to get out of here because it's 5 o'clock. I'm in freaking Miami and I'm locked up in a room. Like, I'm a grown woman. I'm not finna be locked up in a room. Like, are you dumb? Like, I could be out here enjoying my own time. Like, I've been traveling by myself for a minute now, so I'm so comfortable with, you know doing stuff on my own and I treat myself so well so how dare why would you think that you could treat me a certain type of way uh, I'm getting emotional because I'm in a season right now where I don't allow no low vibration around me like it comes to men friendships not any of that I don't allow it no more like because God is gonna place who is supposed to be in my life friends a meal whatever it is like I don't allow that shit it can be the smallest thing and I'm not wrong for that <laughs> I just I've been through so much in the past I don't ever ever want to allow myself to get that low like, i don't ever want to like put myself in a position where i am not valued or do i feel worthy because i get emotional because i value myself so much now and i know how worthy i am and my worth and i'm just not allowing nobody to treat me like that at all so I had to go and I just was so mad at myself. I was just so irritated because I've had encounters with this man before and I've told him numerous of times on like, you know, how I wanted to be treated and stuff like that. And sometimes some niggas just don't take no. Like, yeah, he got all this stuff or whatever, but that don't mean nothing to me. If you're not showing me that I'm valued, or worthy like there's no point like i'm i'm really trying to date with intentions at this time in my life as well uh, <laughs> y'all i'm just ir like it's annoying sometimes but i just wanted to like i'm emotional because i don't want to um treat myself like that i don't i don't want to put myself in those positions where somebody is treating me 
unworthy. So I had to leave. I literally looked at myself in the mirror. I wanted to say sorry to myself because it's just like, I'm sorry, Kyrie. You you already probably knew this from jump, but you never know. Like I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. I started talking to him when he came back and this is what got me. I was like, yeah, I'm just really uncomfortable. I'm just going to go get a hotel. Like I was just being nice and calm because there was no need to argue about anything. There's no need to have an argument like you're not my man but still at the same time i got on a plane to come out here um to obviously spend time with you you know what i'm saying but this man gonna say i'm sorry car but your expectations were must have been too high um i don't know it's kind of hard for me to give my time to somebody this my life so i'm like what I'm I it like it was crazy to me for him to say something like that. And I was like, you know what? You don't need to say anything more. I'm just gonna remove myself. It's okay. You really came up here, you've really been gone for hours all day and you brought food and you didn't even ask me, did I want anything? This man gonna say, Oh, but you already ate earlier. <laughs> just crazy. <laughs> I know looking at this back, I'm gonna be like, what the <laughs> Y'all, it was hard for me to come on here and say, I knew I was gonna get emotional because like I said, I'm treating myself so well. I don't want to allow anybody to treat me with low vibrations. I'm a high vibrational woman. So we're just not aligning. I was, when he said that, I was just like, what? <laughs> So I was like, it's cool. Just reimburse me for my flight, babes. He gave my cash and I was out, called my Uber. I was just like, and then he was just like, and then I'm walking to the elevator with my luggage. And he was like, oh, just, he, he said, take care, Kyra. He said, be easy, Kyra, or something like that. And I was just like, oh, you can't even walk me to my Uber? That is crazy. I was like, you do better. And he was just standing in the door. And I was just like, yeah, chuck up the deuces. Because no. No, I was like, I hope you get better. I really do. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, no, I have to go. I know. But, yeah, so we're here now. And we're all good. So, <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, like I said, it's just, no. If somebody is putting you in a situation where you feel uncomfortable, unvalued, unworthy, remove yourself. Remove all the low vibrations out your life because you just don't deserve that. Um, but yeah, but it's okay. As y'all can see, <clears throat> I've been traveling a lot, doing up whatever I want to do. And I'm like I said, I'm in this season where I know my word and I'm just living right now and showing myself so much love so that I can receive it back. The universe will get it, give it back to me in whatever type of way. Um, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> but that is my little story time of what's happening out here. But I'm not getting emotional over him. Like, it's not even about him. <laughs> it's about me and just, um, I'm just mad that I put myself in that situation. But like I said, it was giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. And, you know, you just got to go through it. It's a lesson learned and you know the signs on what I know the signs on, you know, what to see before I even get on a plane. And I'm going to say that, too. If somebody want to fly me out, like, it's normal for a man to want to court you and fly you out and stuff like that. There has to be boundaries made before I even get on that flight. Noted. Um, but, yeah, anyways, it's cool. But I'm about to get outside right now. I need to go outside, get lunch. It's so ugly outside. It's raining. Um, but it's okay. I'm going to make the best of it. Ew. Um, anyways, let me get up. I'm going to walk to Joe the Juice. Go get me a green juice. Come back here. And I'll probably lay on the beach or something for a couple hours. And then, um, I think I want to go to Kid. Um, and see what they have and then come back here and chill. I'm supposed to be going to R&B Wednesdays tonight, but we'll see. Um, so we're making the best of this trip, okay? We're in Miami, so looking for the hoochie daddies, okay? <laughs> so let me get myself together. I just ripped my lashes off, so I need to put them back on. But yeah.
Why do you deny yourself heaven? Why do you consider yourself undeserving? Why are you afraid of love? You think it's not possible for someone like you? Guys, y'all, look, the sun is finally trying to come out. This swimsuit is from Meshki Pants your local european i'm about to walk the joe the juice so i have on my asics um they kind of go with the vibes and then my bottega sunglasses and then my earrings are from shiny and then also to add y'all while i was getting ready i was thinking to myself like when i was doing my little pep talk or whatever <laughs> my little story time i was thinking that you know some people are like oh you should have a conversation da -da -da. But it's only so many conversations you can have with people to express your feelings. And at that time, it's like conversations are really just words at the end of the day. Like, you need to show me. And I'm not about to keep telling somebody on how to treat me. Like, I'm not going to give you a script. That's either a man or a friend. I'm not going to give nobody a script on how to treat me. You either going to do it or you're not. And if they don't, that's okay. And that is okay. Because, baby, the best is yet to come. And God sees how you are treating yourself. And he is definitely going to reward you with the people who are supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? Okay? And in the past, I would have accepted that. Like, I would have accepted, accepted it over and over. And that's just, you know, the truth. I was in the past. I didn't know my worth. I was just accepting things and just letting it bypass because I was just so used to this person being around letting bygones be bygones but in this season of my life of my healing journey that is no longer so that is why um we are here today so um by ourselves so that is why i had to you know remove myself from that situation yeah i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my trip let me just go ahead and get my stuff on my glasses keep falling cleaning lady gonna probably come in here so, but yeah i can't wait to get outside show sure, let's go they say more money more problems yeah. bring on the problems yeah. bring on the problems yeah. bring on the motherfucking problems they say more money more problems bring on the problems bring on the problems bring on the motherfucking problems hey y'all it got crazy out there real quick <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna be in the room for the rest of the evening because it's gonna rain but i'm supposed to go to playa tonight hold on let me turn the light on oh, babes we got a little dork okay period and my waist is getting smaller and smaller okay what makes say we gonna have to find uh we gonna have to find the uh missing person <laughs> missing person report okay um but yeah i'm loving how my body is turning out I'm just loving the transformation with me physically, mentally, emotionally. I'm just becoming the best version of myself and I can't even be happier. Um, but yeah, so and the way she's missing. But yeah, I'm about to get comfy. Gonna put on a robe, probably order some DoorDash maybe. Um, because I don't think I wanna eat food from the service but oh my god y'all last night i ordered the cookies mm, so good anyways let me change stop let me get a good look at it oh so thick now i know where to come in the penny So I didn't even check in with y'all 
at the hotel in Miami, but I literally just got back home, y'all. Um, my head is pounding, y'all. And that plane ride was probably the worst plane ride I've ever been on. The turbulence was terrible. Um, but anyways, so... <laughs> I'm laughing right now because I'm hungry. My, I swear to God, on that flight, I thought I was going to throw up. But last night was so much fun, y'all. So Rhythm came to my hotel and we got ready. Well, she was already ready, but I was getting ready. And we were just talking and stuff. So that's why I didn't check in with y'all. But we had ended up going to Playa. And if y'all haven't been to Playa yet in Miami, it's such a vibe. We went for R&B Wednesday, super lit. Y'all, <laughs> it was the stars in the building, okay? It was stars in the building. And then we end up going to Tootsie's. And when we went to Tootsie's, the shots that we were taking at Playa caught up to me, girl. It was crazy. Um, I, I think we were mixing. I don't know. Like, my head hurts so bad right now i was about to go eat with Aaliyah, but i'm like girl let's reschedule because she wanted to um she just texted me hold on let me look if we need anything I need some food. um but yeah i was supposed to go eat with her but my head hurts so and my stomach hurts um but yeah we went to tootsie's y'all and <laughs> stars was in the building um i'm not gonna say but yeah it was it was lit. it was a good time but i had to go from there because the liquor started catching up to me and yeah no but anyways it was a great time such a great time i'm so happy i met rhythm she is such a vibe like y'all gotta go fuck with her um and she does lashes in miami so if you are looking for a lash artist in miami um but yeah I had the best time. It was so random. Even though we had a little hump in the road with, you know, homeboy or whatever. But, yeah, I believe everything happens for a reason, you know. And I literally take everything as it comes, as a lesson learned, and keep it pushing. You can't dwell on the past. Just keep it pushing, keep it moving, and it's only up from here. So, yeah. And, yeah, like I said, just know your worth and add tags. Like, it's one thing to really, like be like yeah i know my word da, da, da. but it's really another thing to really actually believe it and the universe sees that god will see it and he will send you what is supposed to be in your life because you are worthy and i've been doing so much work when it comes to like my healing journey and just getting in touch with my inner self and just trying to just become a better person so i always want to surround myself with things that you know I, you know, surround myself with things that um, make me happy and feel valued. So, but yeah, I'm just going to lay down. I'm going to wait for my feet to come. Um, and yeah, but I'll talk to y'all in the next vlog. I love y'all so much. And yeah, stay tuned because I'm, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> <laughs>